Hey everybody, I'm back. Um, yeah, I'm showing a couple of things and I'm gonna move and it's gonna be blurry and I'm sorry, but I'm not fucking with my camera today. Um, I got New Year Christmas wishes from India from Vidyu. Oh god, I can't remember her numbers. Vidyu number numbers. She does awesome Indian cooking. Um, some of the stuff that she's done has intrigued me enough to. Uh, experiment with some things that I've never even tried before so I'll put a link in my pants uh, she was really sweet and I got this wonderful card from Katie oops pa in Canada land thank you Katie and this one let me pull that note out is from Jonathan and Brenda Jonathan is OCC fan number number and Brenda says mom and they've attended the last couple South Tubes of the very sweet people and I'll put a, an OCC link down here too um, okay strange thing of the day I was um, at my best friend's house the other day and he works for the Department of Correction and I was looking in a drawer for something and oh, I hadn't looked inside here. Um, and this caught my eye. No shank and clear view products. Taking the stab out of stabbing. Unmatched safety. Because he works with the prison system, certain products are required because the prisoners tend to want to make weapons out of them. First, hope you can see this this is a fingertip toothbrush and I'm not gonna take it out of the package because I don't want to get him in trouble but it's it's it slides down over your fingertip to about here and you brush your teeth with it like that and you can see the yeah you can see the bristles down on the bottom there and I thought that was unusual and this is an ink pen that you can't stab someone with because it's flexible. I don't know what's to keep you from reinforcing the base and filing down the metal point on here to make something to stab persons with, but apparently these people thought that you couldn't make a shank with it. So, that's the oddities for the day, and now I can take these back to Bill and put them back in his junk drawer. And it, um, ingenuity, there's a product out there for everything. There's a niche market for everything. If you want to invent something and you don't because you don't think anybody will buy it, there's always somebody out there that will buy your shit. Um, okay, tags. Pull this up. The first tag, this is going to be a long video, but anyways. The first tag is from uh, little Stevie. And um, we have five questions and he wanted me to fulfill those uh, let's see number one an airplane is carrying you and your subs and it crashes on a snowy mountain peak which one of your subs do you eat to survive and why well since I'm trying to lose some weight I'm going to go for the leanest meat and that would be you little Stevie so there's going to be a nice big roast Lego Steve on the spit if the plane goes down just know that um, what is the last sentence of your autobiography? Um, it's either going to be love you mean it or and that's how I solved all the world's problem and brought love to everyone. Um, you can spend one day in the body of the opposite sex. What three things will you do with and in that body? I'm going to have more sex. I'm going to be the biggest whore you ever saw. I'm going to make porno movies and eat cheesecake. And I don't know what else would I do. Yeah. Sex and food, what else is there to do? I mean, I can't pee standing up anymore. Uh, can't get full pay as an equal person. Um... I wouldn't want to have a baby. Damn sure don't want to menstruate. Ew. 
Uh, yeah. Recite Twinkle Twinkle Little Star in a Betty Davis voice. Oh, I quit smoking. I don't even have a, a prop cigarette. Let's see. Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. How I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high. Like a diamond in the sky. Um, the last one. Recast your favorite movie with some of your YouTube subscribers. Who would play which role and why? The movie I chose today is Sunset Boulevard. To uh, recap the Gloria Swanson role of an aging, washed-up movie star that's so into herself, she can't be broken out of the bubble for fear that it'll push her over the edge, would go to uh, little Stevie himself. I think he would, he would play the Gloria Swanson role quite well. And her devoted manservant, played by Eric von Stroheim, um... For Max, I would have to choose Jason. Because Jason seems like he would be the facilitator for the craziness that is Stevie. And um, for Bill Holden, the good-looking, young, down-on-his-luck guy, yours truly. Even though the bitch does kill me at the end of the movie. She's so crazy. Okay, Stevie, that's the end of yours. Now, next is the Who's Who's tag for Jasmine and Penny. <coughs> and I'm going to zip through these. I don't know the answer to most of these because I'm clueless, I guess. Um, who licked the carrot and kiwis on a vid? Carrots and kiwis? Uh, probably little Stevie. He's nasty like that. Who flashes her knickers on cam? That's Jasmine. Who says he is the biggest dork on YouTube? Um, excuse me, this is YouTube, sweetie. We're all freaking dorks. I don't know how you can judge the degree of dorkiness because we all sit in our living rooms or various other places and stare at our cameras and talk to people that we don't know most of the time. So, um... I'm going to say Stacy's the biggest dork on YouTube because Stacy flies her dork freak flag high. Uh, who on YouTube enjoys a good whipping? Dave. Um, who says they are a nudist on YouTube? You know, I'm not really sure, but I've done at least two videos completely naked. There might be more, but I know two for sure. Um... Who on YouTube has made a, a video wearing nothing but a towel? There are two. I know for sure Steve's wearing nothing but a towel. Or at least it looked like nothing but a towel. There could have been something on under the towel. And so I'm going to go with Steve. Um, who does Nelly belong to? No idea. Who is a huge fan of Buffy the Vampire Slayer? Uh, I've never seen an episode of Buffy the Vampire Slayer and don't know that I could bring myself to just because of the name. But uh, uh, Lil Stevie and Jason both seem to be pretty into that, I think. I've seen discussions of Buffy. Um, who makes their dog drool for treats and thinks it's funny? That is Jason. I saw him torture poor Bruno um, with the peanut butter and crackers. I saw it. Whose favorite saying is, oh, Lord. Hint, they never show their face. I think it might be Squincy Love Goddess, but I'm not sure. Where's Waldo? I mean, Waldor. And who does he belong to? Waldor is my dog, and I belong to him. I'm here to open the door and brush his fur and feed him. Um, funny man, great songs, awesome dad, good friend who flicks his tail like a tiger. You know, except for being a dad, those could all be little Stevie. 
Let's have a cookie. Okay, I'm down for cookies. And who enjoys a nice cup of tea? Who doesn't? It's the civilized thing to drink. All right, that is the end of the who's who tag and the little Stevie tag and my stuff of the day and my second video for today. And God, I look awful. Why didn't somebody tell me before I got all up into this? Anyways, I'm going to do a little side job with my brother today and pick up some cash. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later. I love you, mean it. Ah.